God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, the word of God. Letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verses 2. Do not be confirmed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. The word of God speaks about a kind of transformation. Every single individual living here on earth, they think at least once in their lifetime about a transformation. You see, a, a, a drug addict, he would say, I need a change at least once in his lifetime. And a person who is addicted to alcohol, he would say, surely I need a change. Somebody addicted to some kind of bad habits, of course that person would say, I need a change, but I cannot. I need a transformation. And some people, their business is down and they would say, I need a change. Something is to be done so urgently. That is to be done. Some change is inevitable in my life. And somebody, they speak ill of others. They lie. Something wrong with them. And at least once in their lifetime, they would say, I need a transformation. Here, the word of God also speaks about a transformation. What is it? See, the word of God says, do not be confirmed to this world. You see, there is a confirmation of your life with the world around you. You try to be something so great, what the world says. You try to be a different personality and the world would say that's okay. But after some time you, you find it very difficult to go ahead because you have not confirmed to that in fact. And here the word of God, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. So the real transformation, if you prefer, the word of God would say, the transformation of mind is the most important thing in your life. See, word of God, when Jesus came to this world, the first word God said, Jesus said, repent, change your mind, change your attitude. Here, say, uh, the letter to the Ra uh, Romans, it would say, do not be confirmed to this world. You need a change. You need a different ideology. You need a, pra a, 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 a joy in your life, a different joy in your life. Here, see, be confirmed by the renewal of your mind. Then, if you, if you renew your mind, what will happen? You may prove what is the will of God. If you renew your mind according to the word of God, according to what Jesus said, you will prove what is the will of God. That means, what is the will of God? What is the plan of God? That is Jeremiah 29, 11. I have made a plan for you, a plan for your welfare, a plan for your future. It is for your goodness. I have made it. A beautiful plan you have. And if you are in tune with the will of God, if you move with God, if you understand the real depth of the word of God, if you become a spiritual person, if you change your attitude to change into a spiritual world, a shift, what will happen? You will prove through your life ahead that there is a God and God has a plan and that plan is done in your life. It is something amazing. This is what we call heaven here on earth. This is what we call a change, a shift in your mental attitude, a spiritual shift in your life. My brother, my sister, when you listen to this word of God, I invite, Jesus invites, the word of God invites, Holy Spirit gives you a great inspiration to have a shift into the spiritual life. You need a change. And if you are ready to shift from the material world to the spiritual world, I want to tell you, you will move with the Spirit of God, that is the purest Spirit, that is the Holy Spirit. Your life will be holy through you. So many people will experience the real hope, holy and hope and joy in their life. Now listen, 
you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and what is acceptable and what is perfect. You are going to prove through your life what is good. Today, you know what is good, but you are not able to do that. Why? The reason is that you are confirmed to some realities of the world. Maybe so negative. Maybe some friends came to your life and they said, this is okay, come with me. And you said, okay, let me go. And you have gone and at last you find it is very difficult. You find, you find, you came to the conclusion that your friendship, it led you astray. You have no peace with you right now. Your family is collapsed. Now Jesus is bringing you back into a different world. Transformed. Change of mind. Come to a spiritual world. My brother, my sister, understand that you are a spiritual reality. You have a soul. You have a spirit. And Holy Spirit wants to reside in you. That's what the, the, the epistle would teach you. Your, tem- your house, your, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Okay, now how to transform? And what will be the effect? You will be good. Then you will be perfect. You will be acceptable. Three things we need to understand. When you change your life with God, trusting in God. If you decide, I need a change, I want Jesus as my Savior, what is the result? You will be good. Everybody, when, you look, when they look at you, they will say, you are good. Then, you, they, they will say, you are good. Then they will say, you are perfect and you are an acceptable person before everyone. This is the glory of God, the what we call. This is the crown of creation. This is the glory that rests upon you and your family. My brother, my sister, Holy Spirit gives you the inspiration to have this change, to be perfect, to be good, to be acceptable. This is a divine nature. If you really need the change in your life, there is no other way given to you if you are a believer. Of course, the world will tell you different, different methods to transform yourself into positive realities as well as negative realities. But I tell you, you are a spiritual reality and you need the basic change in your spirit, in your spiritual attitude. Whatever makes you defiled, the spiritual reality, the negative reality makes you defiled, you have to say goodbye to all those realities. Maybe a friend, maybe some, some, some material things, maybe a different ideology, whatever it may be, it defiles your body, your soul. I want to tell you, you belong to Jesus, you belong to a divine realm, so come to this divine realm, experience the real joy of Jesus. Okay, now, Think about our God, Jesus. Jesus came to this earth. The word of God would say, the word became flesh and dwelt among us. See that change. See that change. He was God and he is God and he is God forever. And he was with the Father. The change, the pain to come to this earth And he changed everything. He left the heaven there. He left everything there. And he came to this earth, took the form of a human being. Unimaginable change. Unexpected change a human being can think of. God became man. We we have no such things in the world. See, this is the love. You are standing before that great reality, the greatest change the world can see. God became a human being. The greatest change, the absolute change. My brother, my sister, if you really expect a change in your life, if you really need to see the divine nature that is imprinted deep within you, I want to tell you, you see this divine change. God became man so that you will become a divine person. And you trust in Jesus. You trust in the birth of Jesus. God became man. Again, I want to introduce another change. He became man, a fully flesh, a a human being, as well as his God, of course. Then... Think about the the, the, uh, life, public life, public ministry. And he lived among us just like a simple person. God lives like a simple person. And the creator there, his father, if he asks 
anything the father will provide. Even then, he left everything behind. He came to this earth, lived a very simple life. That means he is with you. He wants to be with you. That is the only one reason he wants to be with you. That is the intention of God. Why to be with you? To change your life. To bring you back into heaven. To give you the real joy of the family life. To give you the uh, real joy of the religious life. To give you the joy of, of, of your, if you are wherever you are. Jesus wants to give you that. Jesus wants to be with you. And the, see the change. God took the change to be with you. And God lived among us. And my brother, my sister, think about the death on the cross. He died on the cross just like a thief, a revolutionist, a, a, a criminal in the sight of all the human beings. Everybody mocked at him. Everybody tortured him. He took that pain and he dies on the cross just like a criminal. Why this change? See the depth of the change, my brother, my sister. He died not 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 uh, not uh, not not like a human being dies normally not like that he died on the cross just like a criminal in the form of a, a thief in the form of a dirty death the people would say why did he take that change he took that change he took the initiative to die and he died the reason is very simple he wanted to bring Every thief, every revolutionist, every criminal, every dirty person, every depressed person, every negative person, every rejected person, every wounded person into his spiritual world. Today, if you believe that there is no way out in your life, you are distressed and disappointed and everybody rejected you, you are full of wounds and hurts, my brother, my sister, you deserve a change. That is what Jesus says today, you deserve a change because if you, if you desire this change, the power, it comes from the cross. That is what God said. And I tell you, you deserve this change because our God, Jesus Christ, changed from heaven to earth a human being. He came to this earth a human being. And he took the form of a slave and he died on the cross like a criminal. That means every least aspect of human life he experienced. My brother, my sister, let us come to this cross and have a change in our life. When we experience Jesus, it is possible. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you about the third change Jesus took. What is the third change, you know? Why to think about this change? Because never think that there is no change in your life. A shift is not possible in your life. Never think that. But I want to tell you the shift is possible because you see wonders and miracles in the life of human beings 2,000 years back when Jesus touched them. The same Jesus, he took the form of a human being. He accepted the change. Again, he accepted the change from a simple life and to the, to the brutal criminal death. He ex ac accepted that. Another, the third change I want to tell you. Jesus, during the Last Supper, said to his disciples, This is my body. This is my body and the blood. Eat it, drink it. What is the conclusion? You can see the conclusion at Calvary. The body and the blood. Blood is shed, the body is, is, is crushed. And what is the reason? It is for us. And today, Jesus took the form of a bread. And during the Holy Eucharistic celebration, if you look at it with the faith, my brother, my sister, you feel the pulse of heartbeat of Jesus. And you feel the real love of Jesus. See, there is change. The body, the bread, that bro bread becomes the body of Jesus. This is the amazing change. Why this change? God wants to come into your life to have a change in your life. So if you prefer a transformation today, you have options before you. What is the option? Trust that God has come down to this earth to save you. The second one you have, God took the form of a slave and died on the cross. So every least aspect of your life is going to a spiritual anointing. The third one, 
God took the form of a bread and he became a living reality, living God among us. And if you believe in these three changes, three great shifts, I tell you, everything is possible for you. You will experience the real goodness. You will experience the real perfect nature in your life. You will be acceptable before everyone if you blindly surrender your life before God. As you listen to the word of God right now, my brother, my sister, I would request you to surrender your complete life before this great God, before this anointing, anointing uh, power, before this love of God. And if you trust in Him, you will see the real miracle every day in your life. Please do not think that there is no change possible. See, this God, this Jesus, touched the lives of so many people. He touched the paralyzed person. What was the change? He got up and started moving. See that change? God touched a paralyzed person. There begins the change. God touched the coffin of, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a young boy. And, the, and, and his mother was moving with that uh, coffin. What happened? Jesus not even touched the body. He touched the coffin. The dead person came back to life. See the change. We need to understand when Jesus touches a single person, there begins the amazing changes. You say you are distraught. You say your family is collapsed. You say your life is gone. You say you are addicted to some bad habits for 20 years. Why there is no change? The reason is you have not even experienced the change of, of, of touch of Jesus. You read the Bible, you will find wherever Jesus touched people, people changed. Even people, they wanted to touch Jesus. The word of God would say, everybody tried to touch Jesus because the power came from his body and healed everyone. This is something amazing. If you touch the body of Jesus, the power will come down into your life and it will change you and through you, your family will be changed. That is the glory of Jesus. That is something so amazing. My brother, my sister, I want to invite you to this change. Have a shift in your life. Think about your life. Where am I? What am, what am I doing? Why this change? God takes the initiative. God came here into your life to have a change. Think about the first family. The nature of God is explicitly mentioned there. God the Father used to move along with them every evening. See, God moves with, with the family. God wants to be with them. Then come think about Jesus. Jesus and Jesus said, I will be with you till the ends of the earth. You see, at the, at the time of danger, Jesus said, don't be afraid, it is I, I am with you. In storm, Jesus comes and says, don't be afraid, I am with you. Then Jesus said to the disciples, your, your, your sorrows will turn into joy. That means I am with you, I am the real joy. And if you feel that I have come to touch you, if you, if you really believe that I have come to hold your hand, you will feel that change in your life. You need a change today, my brother. You need a transformation today, my sister. The transformation is only possible through the divine power because you are a spiritual being. The Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 9, verses 2 onwards. We find Jesus speaking with his father. Jesus speaking with his father. And Jesus took three of his disciples along with him to Mount Tabor. And three disciples, James, John, and Peter. And when Jesus spoke with his father, what happened, my brothers and sisters? The word of God would say, and he was transfigured before them. Then what happened? And he, his clothes became dazzling white, such as no one on earth could bleach them. See, the greatest anointing. Jesus, when he spoke with his father, he received a kind of great anointing. So speaking with Jesus, speaking with God is a matter of greatest anointing, greatest glory. When I speak with my Jesus, there is something special in me. When you speak with your Jesus, there is something special in, in you. And that's what's going to happen when you speak with your Jesus along with your family. If you 
really wish that you need a transformation in the family, I would suggest you, along with the family, every evening, try to find some time to spare with your God. That will cause a real change, a real transformation in the family. Your family will be will be shifted to a real uh, a real joy, a spiritual joy in uh, that that you're going to experience, my brother, my sister. And at the end, the disciples would say, Jesus, it is good that we are here. What is that? We experience the real joy of transformation when I look at your face. And my brother, my sister, along with your life partner, if you begin to pray today, your children would say, it is good that we are here, Dad. It is good that we are here, Mom, because they feel the spiritual joy in your presence. Because you speak with your God, and the God gives you the glory, the real shining of joy in your faces, and your children will never leave you. Your children will be with you. In today, today so many children, they come to family late night, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, maybe morning, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. The reason is that they cannot find the real joy at home. And I tell you, if you have a connection with your Jesus, and if you are transformed and into the image and likeness of God, if your family, if, if you have such a different change in your life, a spiritual change, I would tell you, your children will come back early, maybe maybe 5 o'clock, maybe 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the evening itself, and they would say, we have a joy here at home. It is good that we are here. If your life partner moving away, away, away from you, and I tell you, if you transformed into the image and likeness of God, if you really experience that spiritual shift, your life partner would come closer to you saying, it is good that I am with you. I really feel the real joy of, of my God when I look at you. So the most important thing in our life is the real transformation along with Jesus. How it is possible, just try to spend some time with Jesus every evening some time with God. Every weekend, some time with God. So I want to tell you only one thing. The word, of, the word of God reminds us, do not be conformed to this world. If you are conformed to this world, you lack everything. The word of God, be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Then you gain everything back. Then that you may prove what is the will of God. What is good and acceptable and perfect today as we listen to the word of God as we sit before Jesus let us pray Lord I need a transformation I need to feel your presence throughout my life I need a change I tried quite many times again and again I fall down miserably but today I firmly believe that you came to this earth that is a great change and you died on the cross that's a big mystery and here you are with me in the form of a bread. I trust in you, Jesus. I surrender before you, Jesus. Everything is possible for you. I blindly trust in you. God is going to take the whole control of your life. Holy Spirit is going to anoint your family. Abba Father is going to fill your family with the greater love. And today, pray, Lord, bless me. God bless each one of you so much. Amen. Thank you.